Can babies safely drink plant-based milks? I'm talking rice milk, soy milk, pea milk, almond milk, oat milk, and what's wrong with cow's milk for babies anyway? Hi, I'm Katie Ferraro, registered dietitian specializing in infant feeding, and each week I put out new videos showing you how to safely help your baby start solid foods. So if you care about what goes into your baby's body, hit subscribe and get notified each week when new videos about eating and drinking are live. All right, on to the plant-based milks for babies, but first, a word about cow's milk. If you're interested in plant milk for your baby, something makes me think that you think that there's something wrong with cow's milk. And in one way, you're right, because we don't substitute fluid cow's milk in place of breast milk or formula until your baby turns one. Those foods are not nutritionally complete prior to that. But you sure as heck should be offering your baby cow's milk protein in the form of dairy foods starting when your baby is around six months of age. That's because we have fairly decent research to suggest that early introduction of cow's milk protein helps prevent cow's milk allergy down the road. Now, if your baby is formula fed, this doesn't really matter because the base of commercial infant formula is already cow's milk, so your baby's already been exposed to cow's milk protein. But if you're exclusively breastfeeding, get that cow's milk protein in early and often, doing foods like whole milk, plain yogurt, or low sodium soft cheeses. There are two instances when you would not want your baby eating cow's milk protein. That's if your baby already has a diagnosed cow's milk protein allergy, or if your family is vegan and you don't want the baby eating animal foods like cow's milk, and then it's out of the question. But let's go through some of the different plant milk options then. Is soy milk safe? Heck yeah. But do I want your baby under 12 months of age drinking soy milk? No way. You need to be on breast milk or infant formula and fluid soy milk is not a replacement. Soy milk is one of the better options for the non-milk drinking toddler crowd, but that's only after 12 months of age for drinking regularly. Look for unsweetened soy milk if you're doing that. Now, vanilla soy milk, why do you think it tastes so good? Because it's got tons of added sugar in there and we don't do any added sugars for children prior to two years of age. So the pro is that fortified soy milk, the nutrition composition closely resembles that of whole fat cow's milk if it's unsweetened. But the con is that lots of soy milks have added sugar and this still is not appropriate in place of infant milk prior to 12 months of age. All right, what's up with pea milk? Can babies drink pea milk? Like all of these plant-based milks, you can use them in moderation or as ingredients in recipes. You just have to make sure that they don't have added sugar, which can be tough. So a pro about pea milk is that it's similar protein-wise to cow's milk. You'll note that like a lot of plant milks aren't, they don't have any protein, but pea milk does. But the con is that peas are not a good source of fat. So vegetable oil is often added to pea milk. And then what slays me about pea milk is that one of the most popular national brands in the US of kids pea milk, so it's actually marketed to kids, has added sugar in it. As we know, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends no added sugar until age two, so it's not appropriate for kids and certainly not for babies. So why are we taking peas and adding sunflower oil and cane sugar? What's the point? All right, almond milk, I know you want to love it. And you think it's like cow's milk. I mean, it's made from almonds and almonds have protein, right? Well, when they're almonds, yes, almonds have protein. But then when almonds are processed into almond milk, all of the meal that has the protein is left behind. So the con of almond milk is that there's basically no protein in it. Check this out. One cup of whole cow's milk has eight grams of protein. One cup of almond milk has one gram of protein. Almond milk is also not a good way to introduce your baby to the potentially allergenic food tree nut if you're trying to introduce almond, okay? We don't use almond milk to introduce your baby to almond protein because there's basically no protein left by the time it becomes almond milk. A pro for almond milk is that for babies, well, there really isn't one, and there's no real indication for its use prior to 12 months of age. All right, rice milk. I don't even have it here because it's not even milk, okay? True story, it can't be called milk, it actually has to be called rice drink. 
Okay, there's no protein in rice drink. There's no calcium. There's no vitamin D. Plus, we know that regular use of rice foods for babies is a bad idea because of the high likelihood of contamination with heavy metals and in particular arsenic in rice foods. Now, Consumer Reports, who I very much respect when it comes to their heavy metals in baby foods research, Consumer Reports recommends no rice milk for children under age five. And then even after age five, it's just a half a cup per day. So it's not worth it, no pros. If you're interested in learning more about the Consumer Reports reporting about heavy metals in baby food, I have a really good interview that I did with their chief scientist. I'm going to link where that is in the description for this video. I know you guys think that I'm going to bash every single plant milk for babies, but not coconut milk, okay? I love coconut milk for babies. Of course, not in place of breast milk or formula as a fluid milk source ever. I mean, con is that coconut milk, why do you think it's so delicious? It is chock full of saturated fat. Now, that's the bad fat, and it's not a huge concern or something that we worry about in babies because they eat slash drink so little of something, but it's still like something to keep in the back of your mind. There's basically none of the nutrients that are in cow's milk, in coconut milk, so there's no vitamin A, there's no vitamin B12, no thiamine, no riboflavin, no vitamin K. Then like, why do you love coconut milk for babies? Here's why. The pros, okay? Coconut milk is a really easy way to introduce your baby to the new food coconut, okay? Now, actual coconut, you can't feed like the hard, crunchy pieces of raw coconut. And if you're looking at shredded coconut, it usually has added sugar. But you can use coconut milk as a way to help your baby practice open cup drinking. Okay, the thing I love about coconut milk is that it's a thick liquid. So thick liquids are easier for your early eaters to drink, right? They're used to thick liquids like breast milk or formula. So coconut milk is a great consistency to help your baby start drinking out of an open cup. Another cool thing about coconut milk is it's super low in sodium. So I am okay on coconut milk in moderation. Oat milk, all right, you put it in your latte, but should you put it in your baby? Pro. All right. I guess one thing about oat milk is that it's higher in fiber than cow's milk, but there's not fiber in animal foods to begin with. And to be honest, too much fiber can actually fill your baby up and make them feel unnecessarily full, which in turn displaces them eating other healthful foods. So I guess maybe it's not really a pro. Uh, one of the cons with oat milk though, is that it's likely high in glyphosate unless you purchase organic oat milk. And even then most oat milks are packed with sugar and preservatives like gums and stabilizers and oils that kind of try to make a whole grain the consistency of milk. Oat milk is not nutrient dense. It lacks vital nutrients for babies. If you can find sugar-free oat milk and use a bit of it here and there, it's not terrible, but definitely not something to be a routine part of your baby's diet. So while some of these plant milks are okay to use as ingredients in other foods that you're making for your baby, all fluid plant and cow's milks are not appropriate in place of breast milk or formula prior to 12 months of age. Even cow's milk does lack large amounts of nutrients that are essential for adequate infant development, like zinc and niacin, vitamin C and vitamin E. So hold on most of the plant milks until after your baby turns one, keeping in mind that we still don't want any added sugars prior to age two, and that many of the plant milks that you see here have added sugar, plus other questionable additives and ingredients, as well as oils. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos about starting solid foods safely with your baby, and thanks for watching.